good morning students today we are going to start with a second lecture the solid state we have already completed with some of the topics that is characteristics of solids types of crystalline solids crystal lattice and unit cell close packing and efficiency and types of voids today we are going to conclude with this two points that is imperfections in solids electrical and magnetic properties so by this two points we will conclude with our chapter that is solid states before i start with this imperfections in solids you may, you know that in nature if we talk no one is perfect right if we talk about solids or crystal or even humans also no one is perfect so now we will discuss about what is imperfection in solids right this imperfections in solids are again divided into three parts solid defects is divided into three parts you can see here so structure metric defects impurity defect and non structure metric defects in structure metric defect what is structure metric defects in this constituent particles jo hai wo maintain rahega right in this structure metric defects the constituent particles will maintain itself over there only and this structure metric defects again divided into two parts that is vacancy interstitial defect <clears throat> what is vacancy vacancy means vacant that crystal is said to have vacancy defect uh, defect right means uh, vacancy mein crystals jo hai wo apne place se hat jayega that is what vacancy defect now interstitial defect means what constituent particles occupy on interstitial site what is interstitial defect that constituent particles occupy on interstitial site understood so this vacancy and interstitial defect jo hai they show they both will show non ionic solids they both shows the non ionic solids and this ionic solid will show frinkel effect and stock scott ki effect right this uh, ionic solids will show frinkel effect and scott ki effect in this frinkel effect uh, i must say that frinkel effect will uh, what i must say that this is uh shown by ionic solids right the smaller ion is dislocated from its normal site to an interstitial site understood means it creates a vacancy defect at its original site right and an interstitial defect at its new locations right that is what frinkel effect in frinkel uh, defect that is also known as a dislocation defect frinkel effect is also known as dislocation defect it does not change the density of the solid but when you see this vacancy and interstitial defect which is uh, a part of structure metric defect they will show very uh, low uh, they will show the defect which increase the density of a substance but in frinkel defect it does not change the density of the solid frinkel defect is shown by ionic substance in which there is a large difference in the size of ions right so they shows the ionic substances in that there will be a large differences in the size of ions here the example i had shown you zns agcl and agbr this is due to the size of a uh, small size of zn and 
ए जी भी ए जी प्लस साइंस ओके सो दिस इज वॉट द फ्रिंकल इफेक्ट नाउ द स्कॉट की इफेक्ट इन दैट इट इज बेसिकली mostly it is asked in the question uh, exams also and this shows only the vacancy defect here the trinkel effect was you know the combination of vacancy and interstitial defect the trinkel effect was the combination of both this vacancy and interstitial but in scott key effect you will see only the vacancy defect in this example is given nacl and ए जी बी आर इट इज बेसिकली वैकेंसी डिफेक्ट इन आयोनिक सॉलिड्स ओके सो दिस फ्रिंकल एंड स्कॉट की इफेक्ट विल शो ओनली इन अ आयोनिक इफेक्ट एंड वैकेंसी एंड इंटरस्टिशल डिफेक्ट विल बोथ दे बोथ शोज अ नॉन आयोनिक सॉलिड्स एंडरस्टूड सो इन ऑर्डर टू मेंटेन इलेक्ट्रिकल न्यूट्रलिटी the number of missing cations and anions will should be equal <clears throat> right in scott key effect the def, uh, the <clears throat> the it should be it uh, it has to maintain electrical neutrality right so for that the number of missing cations and ions should remain equal like like a simple vacancy defect in that scott key defect also decreases the tendency of the substance understood here they uh, both were showing the density which shows the uh, uh, which have the uh, which increases the density of substance in what in vacancy and interstitial but in scott key defect they shows the decreases the density of the substance now number of such defects in ionic solid is quite significant for example nacl just like i told you nacl there is approximately 10 raised to 6 pairs per cm cube at room temperature right so 1 cm cube means there are about 10 raised to 22 ions thus this there is one scott key defect which is per to 10 raised to 16 ions this scott key defect is known by ionic substances in which the cations and anion are of almost similar sizes understood they are almost similar sizes as with the example which we have given here nacl agbr and one more thing is that kcl right it may be noted that this agr b uh, agbr shows both even the frinkel as well as the scott key effect you can see here agbr and agbr will both they both shows the frinkel effect also and the scott key effect also understood so in stoichiometric defect it is again divided into vacancy interstitial defect and that two of them is divided that is frinkel effect and scott key effect now next one is impurity in, uh, defects impurity defects in that they shows the uh, in more uh, what you say small amount of um, s srcl2 which is crystallized right uh, some of the sites of uh, in if molten nacl is containing if it is contained with a molten nacl s srcl2 will crystallized in that and some of that sites of na plus ions are occupied by sr2 plus okay so you can see in your textbook the figure is given over there in that each sr2 plus replaces two sodium ion it occupies the site of one ion and the other site remains vacant okay fine here they will occupy the one ion the other sites will remain the vacant so the cationic vacancies thus produced are equal in number to that of sr2 ions another similar example is the solid solution of cdcl2 and agcl2 in that ag uh, ag2 uh, plus will replaces the what cd plus ions right so this is what the impurity defects 
in that uh, it is divided into sorry impurity defects it is not divided anything next one is non uh, stoichiometric defects in that it is uh, again divided into two parts that it metal excess defect and metal excess defect due to the presence of extract okay that is metal deficiency that that is metal deficiency so here this metal discussed so far they do not disturb the stoichiometric that is the crystalline substance right however here the larger number of the stoichiometric inorganic uh, solids are known as are known which contain the constituent elements which is in a non stoichiometric ratio due to this defects in the crystal structures this defects are also divided into two parts that is metal excess and one uh, second one is metal deficiency effect you can see here it is written here now in this here you can see that metal excess defect which is due to the presence of extra cation interstitial sites here the zinc oxide is uh, is which is in white in color right at a room temperature when it is heated it will loses uh, oxygen and turns yellow in color you can see when the z is zinc oxide is heated right here the zinc will form and the uh, oxygen will loses its n2 electron is present here understood now here there is a excess of zinc in the crystal you can see that excess of zinc is present over here in this crystal and its formula becomes zn1 plus xo means here this zn uh, this here zn2 plus ion which is moved to interstitial sites and the electrons to the neighboring interstitial sites understood this is what the metal excess means when the excess of heating is there it uh, form um, excess of zinc in the crystal right next is metal deficiency defect in that there are many solids which are difficult to prepare right so they contain less amount of the metal as compared to the stoichiometric portion a typical example of in this type is feo which is mostly found with a composition of iron that is 0.95 it may actually range from fe that is 0.93 oxide to fe 0.96 oxide in crystals of fe oxide means iron oxide some fe cations are missing and the loss of positive charge which is made by the presence of required number of this fe3 plus ions understood so this is what the metal deficiency effect it means here the 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 metals which is requiring the uh, number of fe3 plus ions understood so this is what about all the imperfections in solids now so now we will discuss about the electrical properties so metals are those which conduct electricity electrical properties means what the metals are those which conduct electric electricity as you know that the sum crystalline solid which does not conduct electricity can you tell me one example yes diamond diamond is a insulator so it will not conduct electricity understood so this electrical uh, sorry electrical properties in the solids can be classified into three types on the basis of the conductivities on the basis of the conductivities so now we can we discuss 
what are the electrical properties the electrical properties are classified on the basis of the conductivity that is conductors insulators and semiconductors first we will see what is conductors conductors means those elements which conduct electricity is what called as a conductors conductors are those elements uh, sorry those elements which conducts electricity is is known as a conductor now what is insulator insulators are those which does not conduct their conductivity right which does not conducts the uh, this uh, electricity their conductivity will be zero or very low their conductivity will be very low the next one is semi conductors in this electricity conducts right is may electricity to conduct hoga but there is some conditions to there will be some conditions to to conduct electricity now first talk about what is the necessity necessity to conduct electricity as we know that our metals are positive ion charge right example fe3 plus ion fe3 plus ion understood so here this <coughs> electron lose ki, uh, karta hai, right here the electron ion uh, electron will loses so outermost electron is in a valence cell mein hota hai right outermost electron jo hota hai it will be in a valence cell or you can say as a valence band see here you can see the conductors how it is so as i told you that the uh, outermost electron are seen in the valence band right or in the valence cell right so this is what your valence band in this uh, this compound or molecules or even equal as a elements this ye jo bhi compounds hai ya element hai ya molecules hai theek hai if they want to conduct electricity then this electron have to go in a conduction band this is a valence band right and if they want to conduct electricity this electron has to go in a conduction band so this conduction band to is what they are higher energy band this conduction band is higher energy band if this electrons come here this electrons come here in conduction band then it will conduct electricity then it will conduct electricity when this conductor ya uh, mein kya hota hai means uh, valence uh, conductor mein kya hoga jaise ki ye valence band hai and conduction band is there they are overlap here right ek dusre ke upar overlap hua hai then what happens they won't require any addition energy yahan pe jab ek dusre ke sath overlap hua hai they will not require any addition energy from valence band to कंडक्शन बैंड यानी वैलेंस बैंड से कंडक्शन बैंड में जाने के लिए दे विल नॉट रिक्वायर्ड एनी एडिशनल एनर्जी सो दैट मीन्स इट इज अ कंडक्टर दैट इज इट इज अ कंडक्टर नेक्स्ट इज इंसुलेटर इंसुलेटर यो यू कैन सी एनर्जी डिफरेंस इज टू हाई here the energy difference is too high when you give more energy also na no, if you give more energy in this two bands then also this electron will not move from valence band to conduction band so this will not conduct electricity right because here they require lots of energy understood they require more energy so they will not conduct the electricity so it is called as a insulator understood they are called as a insulator next is semiconductor in this you can see the conduction band 
and the valence band in between that the energy level is very less the energy difference is very less so basically if they get small amount of energy also na in this or heat or you can call it as a temperature agar thoda sa bhi heat ya energy ya temperature unko mil jaye then this electron will jump up this uh, electron will jump up to the conduction band then it will conduct the electricity when this this valence band se conduction band mein jayega tab ja ke ye electricity conduct karega so semiconductor ka example agar main do group 14 you know group 14 in that germanium and silicon theek hai this are the group 14 examples which i have given you that is germanium and silicon this today's technologies it is very important right uh, so apna um, cell phone pcs this all are using the semiconductor properties they all are using the semiconductor properties in this what to happening means they uh, some electrons may uh, means they having some types of uh, behavior which shows this types of uh, properties so the conductivity of this uh, semiconductor is too low to be practical use so here it is increased by adding an uh, appropriate amount of impurity this process is called as a डॉपिंग प्रोसेस राइट मीन्स जो कंडक्टिविटी को इंक्रीज करेगा एक अप्रोप्रिएट इम्प्योरिटी के साथ दैट प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज अ डॉपिंग दिस डॉपिंग कैन बी डन विथ एन इम्प्योरिटी विच इज इलेक्ट्रॉन रिच और इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशियंट एज कंपेयर टू द इंट्रेंसिक सेमी कंडक्टर दैट इज सिलीकॉन और जर्मिनियम सो सच इम्प्योरिटीज इंट्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिफेक्ट्स इन दैम understood that is electron rich impurities electron deficient impurities understood these are the things which are introduced in this chapters next we will go with a magnetic properties in this whenever charged particles right jab bhi koi bhi charged particles this you can read here every substance has some magnetic properties this properties lies in the electrons each electron in an atom behaves like a magnet note this they behave like a magnet electron will revolve around nucleus it spins around its its own axis also so these are what about the magnetic properties you can see here whenever the charged particles rotate then a magnetic field jo hai that will generate understood that will generate that you have studied in your physics right in elements all electrons are there in elements all electrons are there one electron one electron will uh, rotate uh, will revolve around this nucleus one electron will revolve around this nucleus right so charge particles hote hain it means magnetic field generate karega understood jab ye revolve karega nucleus ke irgird it will generate what magnetic field understood similarly here axis pe bhi rotate karte hain राइट यानी अर्थ रोटेट करती है तो ही डे और नाइट होता है मीन्स तब जाके डे और नाइट होता है जब अर्थ रिवॉल्व करती है मीन्स ईयर और वेदर चेंज करते हैं राइट सो दिस इज व्हाट ऑल अबाउट द मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ दिस इज मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टी इज मेजर इन द यूनिट कॉल्ड एज बार मैग्नेट दे आर कॉल्ड एज अ बैर सॉरी बोर मैग magneton right that is mu b and it is equal to 9.27 into 10 raised to minus 
four Armstrong meter square. Understood? So here this is other things. Now this magnetic properties are divided into five parts. They are divided into five parts. Here you can see the substance are classified into five categories that is paramagnetism, diamagnetisms, ferromagnetism, then uh, NT, anti ferromagnetisms and ferrimagnetisms understood so these are the substances which are classified into five categories now first we will see paramagnetisms in this paramagnetism example which is given here o2 cu2 minus fe3 minus here this they are weakly attracted by magnet understood they these are the examples which we have given here o2 cu cu2 plus they are weakly attracted by magnet so magnetized uh, is is in a same direction right jo magnetized hota hai wo kya hoga it will uh, done in a same directions next is um magnetisms sorry diamagnetisms here the examples which is given nacl h2o they having no unpaired uh, electrons means they are weakly repelled by a magnetic field this examples such examples which are uh, substance they are weakly magnetized in a magnetic field in a opposite directions right they in paramagnetisms you uh, unpaired electron the और वो सेम डायरेक्शंस में ये कर रहे थे ठीक है लेकिन इन दिस डायमैग्नेटिज्म्स में क्या हो रहा है दे आर दे डोंट हैव अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दे आर वीकली मैग्नेटाइज्ड इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन दिस डायमैग्नेटिज्म्स इज शोन बाय दो सब्सटेंस इन व्हिच ऑल द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर पेयर एंड देयर आर नो अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स so pairing of electrons cancels the magnetic moments and they lose their magnetic characters understood so this is what about the diamagnetisms next is a ferromagnetisms in this which we have given the examples that is fe uh, that is iron uh, nickel right they are attracted very strongly by uh this magnetic field understood so such substances are called as a ferromagnetic uh, magnetic substance beside this uh, strong attractions or uh, can be permanently magnetized in the solid state the metal ions of ferromagnetic substances are grouped together into small regions that is called as a domain you can see here this is what called as a domain electrons okay so this uh, domain acts as a tiny magnet in an unmagnetized piece of a ferromagnetic substance the domains are randomly oriented and their magnetic moments get cancelled understood so when the substance is placed in a magnetic field all the domains get oriented in the direction of the magnetic field you can see in this figure okay so strong magnetic field effect is produced this ordering of domains persists even when the magnetic field is removed and the ferromagnetic substance becomes a permanent magnet they will become a permanent magnet next is anti ferromagnetisms in this the examples which i had given you that is mno showing anti uh, ferromagnetisms which have domain structure similar to ferromagnetic substance right but their domains are oppositely oriented you can see here this uh, 
डोमेन्स आर ओपोजिटली ओरिएंटेड ए वन इज इन अपवर्ड एंड वन इज डाउनवर्ड एंटी क्लॉक वाइज राइट सो इन दिस दे देर डोमेन्स आर ऑपोजिटली ओरिएंटेड एंड दे कैंसिल आउट ईच अदर्स मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट दे कैंसिल आउट द ईच मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट्स नेक्स्ट इज फेरी मैग्नेटिजम्स इन दिस एग्जाम्पल्स विच आई हैड गिवन यू दैट इज एफ ई थ्री ओ फोर in this you can see the when the magnetic moments of the domains in the substance are aligned in in a parallel form you can see here see first is parallel right and anti parallel directions in unequal members numbers sorry they are weakly attracted by magnetic field as compared to what ferromagnetic substances right here the magnetite which is i had given you that fe3 o4 magnetite and uh, are the examples of this substance so this substance also lose ferry magnetisms on heating and becomes what para magnetisms they will becomes what para magnetism understood so this is what we have completed in this chapter that that is imperfections in solids and uh, electrical properties and magnetic properties so students i hope you understood this chapter uh, go with this chapter and solve the textual question answers in the chapters this chapter contains four marks right one mark i told you before uh, in the first lecture one marks for the objective questions and three marks for the uh long answers so do the question answers and do the uh, st uh, study well okay so here uh, we ends with this chapter that is solid state thank you